So I'm going to teach you how to find the trustees to send your securities to. So all of these corporations have to file financial data to the SEC. So a lot of people suggest going to the SEC website to look for this documentation. But I personally hate the SEC website as a search engine. But by law, all of these corporations have to also place these documents on their website, which is usually a lot easier to navigate. But this information is not posted on their default website. Usually they have a separate domain name that contains their financial data. And it usually starts with IR, dot the company name, or investor, dot company name. And IR stands for investor relations. So we're going to start with American Express. So what I usually like to do is type in investor relations. American Express. And here we go. If you see the domain name, you see it says ir.americanexpress. This is what I want to see, right? So now I'm at their financial website. This domain lists all their financial data. So I just want to scroll down and I see SEC filings. So now I don't have to go through the maze of the SEC website. I can just look at only American Express SEC filings on their website. So now we're looking at the website and usually all we need to really look at is their 8K forms. Um, so these are the different American Express companies, but they're all under one umbrella. Um, so I want to look at their 8K forms and that's usually under current form. So I'll click current and I click year. I like to click last year because they don't have all the forms for this year because we're just in the second quarter. So basically now what I do is I kind of go through them one by one until I see what I want to see. So I'm going to click this to open it. And basically what I like to type in, I like to search for words and I want to search for trustee. This has nothing that says trustee. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to go to the next one. Search for trustee. This has nothing. I'm going to exit. Go to the next one. Trustee, nothing. I'm gonna exit, go to the next one. This has six, okay. So this tells me, bam, right here. The Bank of New York Mellon as trustee, right? So now I just like to cross verify because sometimes in some corporations they have a denture trustee, which is what we're looking for. But they also have a owner trustee. I'm still not completely sure what that is. So I just want to make sure that this is the indenture trustee. So I'm going to continue searching down. Okay. But thus far, I do see that the Bank of New York Mellon is the trustee, which is good. So once I think I know who the trustee is, again, I want to just verify that that is the indenture trustee. And we also need to then find the address in which we mailed the security to. So I will continue going through the SEC filing forms. And now I'm going to search for that trustee bank name. And so this one is the Bank of New York Mellon. So I can just type in Mellon. And so I get three. So I see right here, the Bank of New York Mellon as trustee. I'm gonna press enter again. Right here it says the Bank of New York Mellon, formerly known as the Bank of New York, as the trustee, as he supple supplemented by the first supplemental indenture. So I think this does confirm that they are indeed the indenture trustee. But again, now what I need to do is find the address. And I believe this document does not have the address. So I'm gonna continue going th through these forms until I find one that has the address that I can mail to. So I went through all of the 8K forms and unfortunately I did not see an address, right? So in the occasion that you don't find an address, just believe, just know and believe that one of these forms will have an address. Just from what I've seen majority of times, it will be the 8K form. Now, some of these corporations will actually have what is called a master trust. And in one of these documents, it will list everything that you want to see, who the indenture trustee is, their address and their phone number. 
So right here under company, you see they have an option for master trust, which is what I've clicked. And again, I clicked to last year so I can see all of the documents. And so basically, I will basically go through each of these again, searching for Bank of New York Mellon until I may see something that actually shows me their address, right? So I'm going to click this one, this 424B5 form. And I'm going to search for Bank of New I'm just going to search Mellon. And okay, enter, enter. Then right here, Bank of New York Mellon. And their address, 240 Greenwich Street, floor 7, West, New York, New York, 10286. Attention, a set back securities unit, and their telephone number. So this is letting me know that American Express has a department that handles securities and not a specific person. So when I'm mailing it to this trustee, I'll make sure I want to mail it to this department. And it gives me a phone number too, so I can call. So if you have a credit card with American Express, Today's your lucky day because I just showed you who the trustee is and the location and their phone number. So now let's do another company. A lot of companies will have parent companies. And so sometimes you have to find out who their parent company is and find the trustee of their parent company. But a lot of the time documentation will actually tell you like the parent company and all the companies underneath that parent company. But let's go with Spectrum. So I have Spectrum Internet. So I'll just go to the Spectrum, search Spectrum, go to their website, and you can always start with the default website. Now I'm going to scroll to the bottom. If you look down here, it says Charter Communications. So this is leading me to believe that Charter Communications is actually the parent company of Spectrum. So now I'm going to type in, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to type in Investor Relations Charter Communications. And here we go, IRCharter.com. What I want to see. Right? Charter, and look, Spectrum right here. I have this image showing Spectrum. So Charter Communications is a parent company of Spectrum. So now I just want to look at their SEC filings. The website is a little different from American Express. You all quarterly results. Here we go. SEC filings. SEC filings. Okay, so now we're looking at all the documents. And so basically, again, I will want to go through their AK forms and see if I can get the name of the trustee and get lucky and also see their address. Okay, so now we're going to go through the AK forms. I've been through a few of them. Um, so now I'm going to click this one. And again, I said the first thing I want to do, I want to search trustee. And then tr this trustee pops up 366 times. And the first thing I see right here, Bank of New York Mellon Trust Company as a trustee. Now, just because you see one company, two different companies that have the same trust bank, do not assume that it's the same address. So we need to verify if we are sending it to the same address or a different address. So now we, we know the Bank of New York Mellon is a trustee. So now I'm going to search Mellon. And we're going to go through and see what we see. And then here, I have an address right here. Bank of New York Mellon. But see, this address is in Chicago and not New York. So again, it's the same trust company, but two different addresses. And I have a phone number also. And again, they have a specific department, Corporate Trust Administration. So if I have any type of accounts that I want to discharge that's underneath Charter Communications, I would be sending my security to this address. So there you go. Some companies like American Express would be kind of easy. Some companies may be a little harder. You might have to do a little more research, unfortunately. Now, when it comes to credit unions, credit unions do not have to post their financial data online because they're credit unions. 
they don't abide by the same rules because they're not profit companies. So I'm still not completely sure what to do for credit unions. I have a, a Navy Federal credit card and I'm still trying to figure out what to do. So if you were a credit union, can't help you right now, unfortunately. But any other type of corporation, all you have to do is follow the steps that I gave you and you should be able to find the trustee. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.